A special Missouri House Committee on the Earnings Tax meeting today in St. Louis. New at 7, I was at that meeting where political and civic leaders gave their evaluations on the 1% earnings tax in the city of St. Louis and Kansas City. That 1% earnings tax the city of St. Louis and Kansas City both have has provided more than $500 million to both cities last year. People that live in the city, we know how critical this tax is. And I, we, we just don't have a city without it. I mean, it, it's that simple. Monday afternoon at St. Louis Community College, the Missouri House Committee heard from Paul Payne, the budget director for the city of St. Louis. What was not discussed, litigation with workers who were fighting the tax collection that was taken during the pandemic. St. Louis University professor Ness Sandoval telling the committee that not enough people are being born in St. Louis compared to the baby boomer generation that will be passing away over the next 20 years. The group heard about white singles and dual income earners moving into the city and African American families moving out. And this thing started off about earnings tax, but a lot of the information that's coming out is about the African American decline in the region, over 8%. And as the people from St. Louis University, their professors said, the bottom has not stopped yet. Um, bottom line is, is that, look, earnings taxes is an important issue. It's one issue I came here to talk about, but it's crime in schools. The House Special Committee on the Earnings Tax will hold another public hearing one week from today in Kansas City. But Monday's St. Louis stop was clear to all inside who heard the warnings on the impact of removing the city's earnings tax and what it would do to St. Louis and the state. But uh, for the city earnings tax, it's just one of those non-negotiable points for the city, I, how the city can survive and even have a chance to survive without collecting the earnings tax is next to zero, in my opinion. 